Welcome back everybody, I hope you're having a beautiful day today. We're on the Praying Mantis subreddit today and it's been about a month or more. So yeah, we all know what that means. We have a lot of revolting messages to read today. And yeah, because they are revolting, there'll probably be a fair bit of censoring today and a fair bit of me saying words that aren't quite the word, but I'll try my best. Okay, let's read some scary stuff. Part 1. Hi! Okay, I need to let you know something. Something. Yeah? Before I can fall for you, I need to know if I'm still attracted to you after I do the diddly to your pictures. LMAO, frick off. Like, honestly, in the most rude way possible. Ha, <laughs> you're fat anyway. And you're ugly. I didn't know we were pointing out facts. Wow, yeah, so that's revolting. Part two. Hi, ma'am. I recently was talking to your son. Oh my god, no way. And he was extremely disrespectful. And they sent a screenshot of that. He wanted me to send inappropriate images of my body. And when I said no, he called me a fat biatch. I really hope you don't let your sons treat women this way. And said, before I can fall for you, I need to know if I'm still attracted to you after I do the, you know what, to your pictures. And then they respond, I absolutely do not. Thank you. I'll take care of it. And I truly apologize on his behalf. Oh my God. I did not expect that. But yeah, that's good though. Hopefully they don't say stuff like that to people in the future. Right, okay, the title says I was 17 at the time. He was 16 turning 17. I contacted his mummy. She was absolutely a MILF too. Wow, what a strong start to the video. I just find it unattractive when women eat boys' heads. Oh, right, that's what praying mantises do, isn't it? <laughs> oh my god, I'm so slow sometimes. Yeah, during mating, the female bites off his head and then devours his corpse for nourishment. Yeah, yummy. <laughs> hey, what's up? Nothing. I was just wondering if you want to get a good blank in you. Do you want to get blanked down by a blank? I'll make you blank. Yeah, can I stop reading this right now, please? Yeah, only if you want some of mine too. Um, if you mean your, you know what, then yeah. If I meant that, I would have said that. <laughs> That's so good though. Even though I could barely say any of this. No, no, no. You have a JJ, right? <laughs> Not a ding dong. And then they respond and they're like, yeah, sounds good. Oh my God, suddenly gay. Do you want to exchange nudes? Be silent. You're a troll and much imbued with malice. No worse disgrace came among the Redditors, you dung splattered dairy boy. So I imagine if you work on a dairy, that probably hits pretty hard. Also, maybe not because you work on a dairy and you always a dung splattered so it's fine. <laughs> Not really an insult. But yeah, there's something kind of wholesome about this. And I like it. Hey. Yeah, what's up? Can I have your snap? Sure, here it is. Um, what is it? Oh yeah, I forgot. I don't have a Snapchat. Can I be your little bee arch? Oh, okay. I've done the solo diddly for you for the past three days straight. Yeah, for 75 Canadian you can. No, 75? And they're crying. You ripping people off. For real. Not my problem, you're poor, hun. No. I just gotta spend it on my kids. Yeah, then go away. Yeah, okay, B Arch. Yeah, listen, I don't think they're gonna be too upset because this conversation ended. Like, oh, what do you mean this terrible conversation is over? Damn. Hey, are you a sugar mama looking for a baby? No, but if you'd like to support my lifestyle, you're more than welcome to. I'll require daily caramel frappuccinos from Starbucks. At least a one steak dinner per month and one steak and lobster hibachi dinner every month. Monthly pedicures, a full spa day every six months. If this sounds like something you're interested in, we can discuss the rest of my needs. I hope you have a very well paying job. You're gonna need it. Me give you money, but I want you to give me money. <laughs> You've got this all wrong. I'm tired of you. You write like you're 15. How do you know how 15 year old girls write? Oh, that one hurt. Oh, yeah. Ew. Yeah, like the top comment says, when one line is truly all you need. Yeah, that's an incredible response. Incredible in a devastating
fading way. Newbie, how do I feed my mantis? Oh my god, no way. Do I read this? This is somebody that is actually talking about their praying mantis and they're in the wrong subreddit. I kind of want to read this because I don't understand anything about praying mantises. This is so wholesome. I'll read it really fast. Hey everybody, I got a Hyrodula membranica about 1.5 months ago. I guess it's male since his butt has six instead of eight segments. I feed him with little crickets every two to four days depending on if he wants to take the cricket or not. He already shed his skin twice and grew a fair amount from two centimeters to about five centimeters so far. Humidity and temperature are fine. He has his little 40 by 40 by 30 glass box with a plant, flooring, a climbable wall and a little ladder and everything. So far, I always fed him with tweezers, grabbing the cricket on a leg and waiting until he takes it. But recently I dropped a cricket in and he caught it fairly quick. Now I wonder, can I drop in three or four crickets? I have a separate tank for crickets with also a lot of hiding places, water and carrots and oats for them. <laughs> okay, so at the end it says, edit, I've realized now that I landed in the completely wrong subreddit. But since y'all appreciate my post, I'll leave it up. Xerxes, my mantis and I really appreciate all of the positive comments. And there's a photo of Xerxes. That's so damn beautiful and I'm so happy we read this. It's a wholesome meme in the middle of the video. Hi beautiful, I'm sorry if this offends you. Will you be interested in a weekly payment allowance of $800 to be my online sugar baby? No sexual intimacy involved, just your online companionship. And they send this photo. What is this for? And they send it again. And then they reply to it. You're insane, fool. And they send it again. <laughs> what, you don't want a weekly allowance of $800 for non-sexual intimacy, just online companionship? Oh wait, there's no way that would actually happen and they're probably a scammer. Yeah, I think they handled this really well. Somebody else said that if they zoomed in even more every single photo, that would have been even better. But yeah, besides that, I don't know how you'd improve. I'm gonna be honest with you. Your boobs are too small for the prices that you give. I mean, it'd be more understandable if you were more on the curvier side. But to be frank, you look like plywood or a 2x4. Oh, hey, do you like to roleplay? No. Why the hell would I do something a 13-year-old does? Why, aren't you supposed to be an adult or something? A grown-ass woman asking another grown person if they roleplay? Okay, so it's 1797. <laughs> I'm Samuel Bentham, and I've applied for patents covering several machines to produce veneers. In my patent applications, I describe the concept of laminating several layers of veneers with glue to form a thicker piece. It's the first description of what we will call plywood. Who will you be? Dead? Because I wouldn't be able to live in the present time of 2022? The craziest part is veneers at the time were normally flat sawn. They look like this. And they send a photo. <laughs> oh, gonna cry wolf again or make more assumptions like women do? No, let's talk about plywood. <laughs> so anyway, sometimes the boards were rift sawn too. Looks like this. Kinda looks like a large boob displayed that way, so I thought you might like it. Are you turned on yet? Why would I? Look, I appreciate the useless facts from a useless person, but I have a life and a job to do. You know, a place where people make money instead of begging for it. Well, baby, if that really turns you on, let me tell you more. <laughs> they also used quarter sawn cuts like these. Tell me when you start to get in the mood. You useless blank, always begging for attention. Okay, let's get back to the role play. You can be my wife. Open door. Well, hello there, my lady. I bring you wood. But of course, I'm not being sexual. I'm referring to the plywood. Oh, why don't you do us all a favor and beg someone else for your attention? Sweetheart, my beautiful Mary, are you saying you don't love me anymore? But I've brought you plywood. Mary? Mary? <laughs> and they tried to call them three times. Mary, Mary, Mary. You know, unlike you and your pathetic beggar existence, people have a life to live. No, stay in character, Mary. <laughs> Samuel Bentham was an engineer, not a beggar. What's your favorite thing about plywood? I'm getting conflicting messages from you. First, you ask me if I want to role play and then start talking about the history of plywood and you ghost me. First off, you asked if I like to role play. Secondly, get a life. Wow. And that's the end of the conversation. I'm so happy we 
read that today? Incredible. Do you like a lollipop? No. What about banana? Allergic. What about human lollipop? Oh, I, uh, I haven't had sweetened human flesh yet, I don't think. I usually just reverse sear or grill it. I don't see how it'd work as a candy. Imagine a chicken lollipop. That sounds nasty. You there? <laughs> Are you still there? I want to keep talking about this. And yeah, I think that's a good place to leave today's video here, guys. That was so fun, and I hope you had a wonderful time. Now for the wholesome memes. Okay, so the first one is a Simpsons one, so I'm already so happy. Nine-year-old me consoling my dad after I caught him instead of the tooth fairy exchanging my lost tooth for money. Dad, as intelligence goes up, happiness often goes down. <laughs> That's such a good episode when Homer has the crayon in his brain and he gets it taken out and he's a genius. I don't know if I've told you guys, but I like The Simpsons. When your favorite earthling makes it through this season of Earth. Aw, oh, thank you, aliens. Aliens that like us. You're too kind. Can we hang out sometimes? Sure, bro. And they go hiking. Aw, oh, <laughs> so cute. I'm happy that you're happy. What if I told you you're inside the meme? Nah. <laughs> that confused me. Stop it. It's not a wholesome meme. It's a confusing meme. So confusing. I'm going to leave today's video there, guys. Thank you all for watching. I hope you had a wonderful time today. And as always, if you did, make sure you like and subscribe. And let me know down below what you thought. And the comment of the day is very important. And it goes to Sarah Brenner. I was having a Simpsons marathon, but I paused it as soon as I saw the notification. That's how much I love Vince's videos. Now, I want to believe this is true, but I can't. <laughs> like, how is that even possible? You like The Vinci Show more than The Simpsons Show? Nah. <laughs> Thank you so much, though. I really appreciate it. Your support means a lot to me, and everybody's support means a lot to me. And yeah, I smiled when I read this this morning. And yeah, A Simpsons Marathon sounds pretty good right about now. So with that being said, have an amazing, incredible rest of your day. And you know what I'm about to say, because I say it every single day. Good. Bye. <laughs>